Today we're going to add a switch into our 12 volt system. Now this can be done in just about any RV system. Anytime you think you need a switch in a particular place, you can just add. I'll show you in my Amazon link where I ordered this. It's just a toggle switch with a blue light LED that comes on when it's in the on position. So what I'm going to use this for in this particular case is one of my videos in the past you may have saw where I added I added these cigarette lighter type hookup plug here and it has some USBs in the bottom. Well if you look at that you'll see there's a problem. What it is is it's hooked into the battery permanent. It's bypassing my cutoff. So I have an LED light that's always consuming energy there which probably not that much but I'm I'm trying to get down to using as little as possible on my 12 volt system so I'm gonna go ahead and put a switch up here that when it's turned on you'll get a blue light and it's gonna actually be a switch for this actual hookup here that way it'll turn this on and off if I don't need this it'll turn it off in the actual winter storage setup so what we need to do this project is we're gonna need a drill bit and we know this is the flange that goes around. It's quite a bigger flange that goes in when the switch snaps in here. So we need something that will make a hole big enough. And unfortunately, I'm using a one inch butterfly and it's not quite big enough. And I don't have anything up to a one and a quarter and that's actually too big. So I'm going to use this one inch and then I'm going to use this file to kind of file it down to where I can get that sleeve into that hole. So. That's first off, we're going to use that drill to drill a hole right above here. And I'm going to go over on the other side, and I already have that panel. I'll show you here what I've got on the other side. So on this FD model, the 19 FD model on the GeoPro, it comes through into this cargo hole on this side. And, and previously, I did some work in here, and I went ahead and cut this panel loose. Now, if, if you didn't have this cut, you'd have to go ahead and take this... It takes two panels you got to take the front one off and then the side one off to get to this access here so what I'm going to do I'm going to put this right up in here and I'm going to have it hook into these this hookup which is my wire nuts here and that way these that light will be powered on or off as needed After cleaning that hole out a little bit, got that sleeve to set in there. Now we're going to go on the other side and put this nut in place. And now we're going to tighten that nut up. So it's a little complicated here, but I want to show you what I've got. Basically, I'll show you a diagram of this here in a minute, but this is the center part, and uh, this is the center of that switch. Okay, if you were looking at that switch from the back, there's the terminals. You'll see the terminals. This is the illustration. This is the top, middle, and bottom. So what you have is the top, you have a hot line that goes in. And then the bottom is your ground. And then you have a load that comes off that center. And what that means is that hooks to whatever you want to switch on or off. So I'll show you again on the inside here. So like you say, here you go. Got the hot coming in. And like I say, I've tied this in off of my other, it's kind of complicated here because I've got tied into my, all this stuff here. I'm leaving this, the cigarette lighter live all the time because it's not gonna be consuming juice because it doesn't have an LED light. I did move it from the top to the bottom to make it a little easier. So this is the USB charger right here that has the LED light that I wanna switch off. So. You can see the power goes into the top and then the switch actually goes to this here and powers this on. So it has to have the switch on in order to power that on. And then they have another ground out of the bottom of that switch that goes back over to your ground. So when you're inside of here, you'll see, here's the way I've got it set up. USB at the top there. And you'll see, here's the switch. When you hit the switch, it goes blue. And also turns the 
LED on the the uh, USB charger on. Like I say, I've got this bottom one live all the time because it won't be using juice unless it's, something's plugged in. So I don't really care to have to have it switched. You can actually eliminate a lot of this problem if you buy this setup. You can actually buy a setup where it has the USB, the cigarette lighter setup, and it actually has a switching already on it. But I didn't do that. And this is another way to show you if you ever wanted to add a 12 volt switch in, and what's nice about that is it tells you when it's on or off. So I really like the way that's set up. So that's about all I have on this. It's just a simple way to put a 12 volt switch in. And like I say, you have to use the swedges. You have to have a uh, wire stripper and use the swedges to put those little connections on. You'll see here's one here that's already swedged on. See, this is one that came from the factory, but that one, that yellow one I did from the, to the load, I had to actually put another one on this end. So you have to have several different sizes of those. So that's about all I have, and I uh, hope this helped you out if you're wanting to put a 12-volt switch on any, any of your things inside of your camper. It helps out. Like I say, anything you want to switch that might be on a 12-volt, that's the way to do it. We'll see you again on another one of these videos.